Today is Friday, October the 30th, 2009. This week on Weight Loss Losers, we're talking about weight loss plans that we've tried and our suggestions and tips for you for picking a plan and sticking to it. A plan that I've tried in five to seven minutes. This is going to take a lot of editing. plans starting with in high school when I first went on this thing called the three-day ice cream diet yeah it was pretty much starvation and I'm not even gonna get into because I would not suggest it for anybody once you go off the diet anyways after the three days they suggest you go to four days eating um, right and pretty much you overeat because your body is like food I have tried probably any type of diet pill that you can think of, from over-the-counter diet pills to phenamine to ally. I think that the diet pills pretty much was speed with the prescription. They pretty much did the same thing. They curved your appetite, they made you super hyper, and you pretty much um, couldn't sleep. So yeah, wouldn't suggest that either. Um, and that's when I started on Weight Watchers. Weight Watchers was a wonderful program for me. It's pretty much like calorie counting in a nutshell, except for you do it by you break down the calories, fiber, and fat grams into certain points, um, and you have daily points depending on your age and weight and sex. It worked pretty well. The first time I lost a lot of weight, um, I was on Weight Watchers. Uh, the reason why it stopped working for me is um, I think that I would give myself a little bit too much freedom, and I would start fudging on my points. I think it was just a little bit too much freedom for me to eat what I want. Now a lot of people are different and a lot of people can do that. A lot of people have that where even, you know, they say they could have a piece of cake and they're not having a cake this big and only fudging the points to be about this big. I would do that and I was only hurting myself and then I would feel myself craving a lot of foods. Um, especially on my day I knew I would have a cheat day and I would just kind of go overboard. But Weight Watchers is a great program for a lot of people. And I highly, highly recommend that if you're first starting out trying to lose weight and you need um, some guidelines to start with. Also online for me did not work very well because I need accountability and that's where YouTube came in. And when I threw YouTube into the mix with my Weight Watchers meetings, um, it helped a lot. But I kind of got tired of writing down all my points and tracking everything. And so that's where I failed is because I get lazy and I don't feel like tracking everything. Um, I didn't feel like carrying around the books with me, you know, extra luggage. And when you have kids, something extra carried around is just like, ah. So um, that's where I failed on Weight Watchers. But it's a great, great program. How many times can I say that? South Beach. South Beach is also one that I highly recommend. Um, I did do that one for quite a while and I did lose um, a lot of weight on that one. So why did you stop, you ask? Well, good question. I can't remember the exact reason why I stopped, but I found myself um, getting off the plan quite a bit and then stalling at weight loss and I got frustrated and I stopped. I don't have a really good reason for stopping. Um, if I would have just probably continued on, I probably would have done magnificent at it I just didn't want to do it anymore and I like once I went once I stalled I just gave up now I know that's not good but it is what it is and that's what happened the Paul McKenna book I, here's the thing on Paul McKenna they want you to in the very beginning when you're first starting they want you to just sit down and be able to be in a quiet place and be able to spend like a half hour to 45 minutes just eating your meals, each meal, just sitting and eating your food slowly in a quiet environment where you have no distractions. I have a kid, no distractions, not gonna work. I just, I couldn't do it. I 
I didn't even really full wholeheartedly put myself into it. That's one that I'm doing now and I have been doing for three months and this to me is the best plan that I have ever tried for me and my body. Atkins, it's done so much for me. I've been struggling this whole year. I haven't even lost 20 pounds, but in these three months alone, I've lost most of the 20 pounds. Um, so as you can see, it's, it's really pushed my weight loss during these past three months and I'm really starting to see progress. It's not really a calorie in, calorie out thing, which most diets are calorie in, calorie out. Atkins is a little different that it actually gives your body a chemical reaction where you start to burn fat instead of calories and carbs and things like that. So it's not a calorie in calorie out basis, which is so unusual for a diet to be. I think it's working for me because I'm never hungry. Well, I take that back. Just these past couple days I have been craving a little bit of sugar, but I'm not hungry like I used to be, where I'm thinking about food 24 hours a day, seven days a week. It doesn't happen like that. It's like when I'm hungry, when it's time to eat, I'm hungry. And then it doesn't take much to fill me up because I'm eating a of proteins and vegetables and fats. And those are what fill you up. The carbohydrates are all empty calories and they don't fill you up. I can go on and on about the program. Please, if you have any questions about Adkins, um, I will do my best to answer your questions. If I don't know, I can re either refer you to somebody or I can find out for myself. I highly recommend Adkins for somebody who is who doesn't who has tried calorie counting and tried the high carb diets or the non-restrictive carbohydrate diets, and needs something else to try. I didn't think I'd be able to do it. A great plan for a lot of people do not be afraid to try it and that is my suggestion my main suggestion for you is to find a plan that works for you and stick to it you have to stick to the plan that you're doing through the highs through the lows through the good times and the bad through the losses and the gains just stick to it because if you're persistent it will come off if you're not persistent and you give up after the first stall and you try something else, as soon as you stall on that one, you're going to be in the same position that you're in. But don't give up on the weight plan that you've decided to do. You may try a few weight loss plans before you find the one, as I did. But once you find that one, the one that clicks, the one that your body says, this is it you will know it and don't give up on it because there are so many plans that work. Jenny Craig's, Weight Watchers, South Beach, Adkins, they all work if you work it. So don't give up. That is my best advice I can give you. Be persistent. Never give up. Thank you for watching this long edition of Weight Loss Losers. Please stay tuned tomorrow for Christina, where she's going to tell you about her weight loss plans and her suggestions for you if you're just starting off. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next week. Bye.